Hi everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to crochet this little hedgehog applique. If you're on my blog, I have the materials list below. If you are on YouTube, I will put the link in my description to the written pattern and the materials list. Also a link to the woodland themed afghan, which this hedgehog is a part of. To start, we are going to use our cream or tan yarn and we are going to make a slip knot. chain two one two and we are going to make one single crochet into the second chain from the hook chain one turn for row two we're going to make two single crochets into that stitch chain one turn our work And now we have two stitches in this row. For the third row, we're going to make two single crochets in each of those stitches. Chain one, turn your work. For row four, we're going to make two single crochets into the first stitch. And I'm going to mark the first single crochet with a stitch marker. And now I'm going to make a single crochet into the next two stitches. And then in the last stitch, I'm going to make two single crochets. Now this is the head of the hedgehog and we're just going to crochet around until we get back to our stitch marker to have a nice even edge. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just try to single crochet evenly around until you get to the stitch marker. And then you can crochet into that space where the stitch marker is. So that just gives us uh, more of a nice clean edge around the head. Now we're gonna change yarn colors. So I'm just gonna cut the tan off, we'll leave a couple inches. And I'm going to add this light brown or taupe color. So I just add it in there and then I'm going to tie the tail ends and then you can just crochet over them. So now we're gonna start working on the body. Here's the nose part of the hedgehog um, and the head. So then now we're gonna make the body. So to start the body, uh, we're gonna chain two and then in that very first stitch, we're gonna do a puff stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and we're gonna do that for a total of four times. So when you pull through the loop, uh, pull it up a little bit so you have uh, some room. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space again. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull it up. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull it up just so it matches the height. So that was three times, so we're gonna do that one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop and then I'll yarn over and pull through all of the loops. So that is a puff stitch and then in the next stitch we're going to do a single crochet and that's the pattern we are going to follow. So a puff stitch and then a single crochet. So I'll show you a puff stitch again. You yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull it up 
and pulling it up like that helps once you get to the end and have to pull through all the loops so you have room to pull it through. So there was one time, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. There was two times, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Three times, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. And that was four times. Now yarn over and pull through all of the loops and then single crochet. And we're gonna end uh, the last two stitches with a puff and then a single crochet. And then for the next row, which is row six, and chain one, turn our work, and we're just going to single crochet across. So we should have six stitches across. So just one single crochet in each stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so that was my last stitch. And then chain up two, turn your work, and then for this row, we're going to do the same as row five. We're just gonna make a puff stitch, single crochet, puff stitch, single crochet. And then we're gonna repeat row six as well. So go ahead and repeat row five and row six. So here I repeated row five and then six. So I have two rows of the puffs and then I have the single crochet in between here and a single crochet here. For my next row, which is row nine, I'm going to do the puff stitch row. So repeating row five. So go ahead and repeat row five with the puff stitches. So here I repeated row five. So I'm gonna chain one, turn my work. I have three of the puff stitch rows and then the single crochet rows in between. For this row, we are going to decrease. So over the first two stitches, we are going to do a single crochet two together. So I already chained one to start my row. I'm going to insert my hook into the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert my hook into the second stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. I should have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So that's a single crochet two together. And then in the next two stitches, I'm going to make one single crochet each. One, two. And then over the last two, I'm going to decrease again. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, insert your hook into the second stitch, which is also the last stitch, pull up a loop three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Chain two, turn your work, and this is the last row of the body. We're going to do a puff stitch, single crochet, puff stitch, single crochet. And then after that last single crochet, I'm just gonna chain one to fasten off and then cut my yarn and I left a long tail so I can sew the body onto uh, my crochet project. So next we are going to work on the feet and then we'll finish up with the face. For the legs, we want to use our cream or tan yarn again. For this hedgehog, uh, this is the bottom of the hedgehog so the face is pointing to the left. So we're gonna add the legs down here. So we're gonna flip it just so we can work 
uh, on the bottom here. And we are going to insert our hook um, at the second row of puff stitches. So here's the first row of puff stitches, here's the second row of puff stitches, and we are just going to find a space to insert our hook. And then add the tan. So I'm literally just looping it in. And then I'm gonna chain one. I'm gonna single crochet into that same space and then single crochet into the next space. And then I'm going to fasten off. And that is one leg. And then for the second leg, I'm gonna skip two spaces. So here's one space, here's another space. There's one space, two space. So I'm gonna insert my hook here add my tan chain one single crochet into that same space and then into the next space and then fasten off so there's a lot of ends here but here are the two little feet or the legs and then now i'm going to grab some black yarn and a tapestry needle to do the face so here I have some black yarn on a tapestry needle and I'm just going to sew on the eye around this area. So I'm going to start from the back. And then just make a small one so I'm not going to go far. So there's his eye. And then for the nose, I'm going to come up around here. And then go down the other side. And then when I weave in my end, I'll just weave this in so then you can't see that knot. So I have all these ends here, but I am going to sew this on my project. So I'm going to keep the ends. If you're not sewing this onto a project, then go ahead and weave in your ends. I hope you learned something new in this video. And if you enjoy crochet tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to my channel.